Yeah, so one of the things I'm really proud of and then love doing is work is my work with Beyond Blue or the volunteer work. As a speaker for them and you know, it's very easy for me to get up there and talk about this the the things that I went through or that you go through with relation to anxiety and depression because it's never really bothered me. Um, I just looked at it as a situation of it is what it is sort of thing, you know. My sister was diagnosed at 19 with um, type 1 diabetes and that's been horrendous for her to have to deal with. So you just sort of get on with things or you take it in your stride and yeah, there's ups and downs. It's a complete roller coaster ride. But as you go through the process and you've got support around you, you realise that, you know, everyone's, everyone's struggling with something out there. Everyone's got their own little issue or niche or something that's going on. And it's all about passing that on and trying to get people to seek help. But when you throw in the mix that there's another av facet or avenue to me with trauma, it's something that I'm not really that good at talking about actually. Um, I'm not good at talking about things to do with me with regard to achievements, like running my business, things I've achieved over the years. I just, I don't get excited by them. I, I do them and I box tick and I move on. The, it's a sad thing and something I'm trying to work on obviously, but I find it uncomfortable in a way to talk about those things. I think it's because I was never allowed to celebrate anything I achieved when I was younger. I don't know, I'm just guessing here. But when you get used to having things thrown on you and you do this and you do that, then you move on to the next thing, it just becomes your norm. So. That's the norm. But when you talk about the trauma of all that and how trauma has affected you, I find it very difficult to, to talk about that and just accept that I've been through trauma. I think it's hard. Um, one in four adults in Australia have been through childhood trauma. So it's not a unique thing. It's a sad thing. It's something that needs to be put out there more more aggressively and you know one of one of the sites I've come across in the last few years has been the Blue Knot Foundation and I really hope that they can get some more recognition for what they do and get get things going and really get out there because they're doing some really good work and they work all they're trying to do is help people. You know, there's no adjunct or agenda or, you know, ex politicians involved trying to say that this is what their agenda is. This is real stuff, you know, trauma is a horrific thing experienced at many different levels. The better we can understand it or the better everyone can understand their own things that they've gone through, you know, it's, it's the, the, the path of the start to recovery, you know. Um, it's horrible, man.